All right, so El Drago, Lightning El Drago, is one of the best Beyblades in the limited format, and its evolution, uh, Medio El Drago, is also one of the best Beyblades in the limited format. And then you got El Drago Guardian. Oh, oh, I actually have it assembled. El Drago Guardian is another great Beyblade in the limited format. We don't talk about El Drago Destructor, right? But the only other El Drago that's kind of like not good in the limited format. It's pre-hybrid El Drago. This was the first left spinning Beyblade ever created in Metal Fight. Um, and you know, back in the day, I didn't really know too many people that use this guy. I mean, mainly because Lightning El Drago came out right after it. And I mean, Lightning El Drago pretty much outclasses this thing in every way. I mean, when you look at attack potential, El Drago has a lot more rugged shape. This does kind of have something for upper, but it really doesn't like Anyway, this is Zero U Sunday, if you couldn't tell, and we're going to be taking a look at um, pre-hybrid El Drago and trying to make this thing some sort of competitively viable. I've... We'll explain that in a second. But anyway, like, you know, you would think El Drago is great, but, you know, to, to have an El Drago on Zero U Sunday is kind of, like, unheard of. But, like, this El Drago, El Drago is, like, never used competitively. So, anyway, but before we get into the video... First things first, pulling up my link tree, which is in the bottom of every single one of my videos. Um, if you haven't checked it out, you should check it out. So this video is sponsored by Molly Toys. Use code TFLANG2K at checkout. Um, or you could just go to my referral link, which is also in the description. If you just tap on that link, you'll be supporting the channel as well. But main reason why I'm showing my link tree is because uh, we got a new Instagram. I've always had a Twitter, but we also have a new Instagram. Uh, which you can follow your boy and uh, as you can see that says join the flame domain discord as you saw if you saw the community post yesterday we have a discord server for the channel I'm gonna be improving it as we go forward but uh, yeah we're gonna be go it go ahead and go in there if you want to promote your channel you can go in there and I got a little self promotion tab so we all can help each other grow so go there but also if you want to talk about Beyblade Pokemon stuff like that Come join the Flame Domain Discord. So that's some, a couple updates to my link tree. I wanted to show y'all if y'all haven't seen it. Um, which you should. But uh, yeah. El Drago. Zero Sunday. Also, I do apologize for the buzzing of the fan. It is still hot. I, I can't record without the fan, man. Y'all, I'm sorry. I've tried. Like I said in the previous video, I've tried. But like, I just, I couldn't. I just saw this, 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 this is a burst remake of Leon, and it just looks so anime accurate and so cool. Do y'all want to see a video on burst remakes? I have all the Metal Fight remakes pretty much, so let me know if y'all want to see a video on those. Anyway, Leon's just going to chill right there. But anyway, uh, so I tried to use this guy in attack. I really did. I, I, I can't recommend using this guy in attack at all. Like, I've tried. So wh what happens in the Zero U Sunday? Basically, I pick out the combo I'm going to use, or uh, the part i'm gonna focus on and try a bunch of different combos i cannot at all under any circumstance recommend using this guy for attack now i know zero use sunday is to show the hidden potential of beyblades i get it but do not use this guy for attack why there is zero reason to use this guy for attack now th this is a zero use sunday so there are going to be better parts to this guy regardless but like i don't think this thing is good for attack why it is way too smooth, bro. It is way too smooth. Now, it does have this thing for upper right here. It does have that. But it's like, still, the top is smooth. To be good in attack, you're going to want to have some ridges. Like, just this gap right here isn't going to, like, carry that much. So, I threw this thing on TR-145 WD. I think this thing makes a decent stamina slash defense type. Why? Because, I mean... I don't know uh it's it's you know what actually i take that back it's the only left spin beyblade that's like full metal i mean other than like gravity perseus technically um but like usually this dual spin but in terms of like pure left i think this thing this thing only has metal contact with gravity perseus a lot of times against taller beyblades and because of how the slopes you'll come in contact with plastic this is full metal so every single contact this beyblade is going to have is pretty much going to be metal so I'm thinking maybe this could help with like stamina. That's the only good results I've got with this guy are with stamina. This stamina combo. So anyway, um, 
let's try it out, all right? Uh, so for the first combo, we're gonna try this against, it's gonna be our stereotypical attack combo, uh, Pegasus R145 RF. Um, I mean, hopefully, a Drago can like live a couple hits, maybe. Uh, I think it might, it has decent weight to it. Oh, damn, that was a, that was a horrendous launch. Okay. All right. Oh, massive hit by pet. Yep, nope. Okay, okay. I might have to put throw this thing on CS. Maybe it'll have, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna throw this thing on CS. I think it'll probably be a lot better on CS. So, yeah, let's not even, WD doesn't give it any defense. So let's just put it on CS. Give it a little bit of attack power, but like also giving it like, better stamina and KO resistance. Oh! Oh god, I think my Pegasus needs the face bolt to be tightened. Come on, El Drago. You cannot get outspun by RF, man. You cannot get outspun by RF, bro. Okay, good. Okay. Oh, my Pegasus needs to be tightened. Okay. So, we could outspin, um... I give it TR-145 just to add LED, and I don't think this thing is good on low height because it's not good at attacks. Solid hit by Pegasus. Oh, but it's able to hang on. Is it able to spin steel though? I think it has better life after death. I mean, it definitely has better life after death because R-145 has no life after death at all, so... Maybe El Drago can like stay hanging on there. Wow, it completely equalized. That is not good. <laughs> um, maybe I gotta like hard launch this guy. I should have launched Pegasus second. Oh, we got a knockout right there. Okay, okay. You know, maybe, maybe, maybe it got some attack in it that that like I just didn't see. Um, next we're gonna try, uh, not as good stamina combo, but we're gonna do, um, Knight Virgo W105, um, uh, uh, SWD. Just like a pure stamina combo, just to see how this thing will do. Knight is not the best at stamina, cause this has like a little bit of recoil, cause it has a little bit of like an upper slope type deal. But it's still very round. So this is good to just test a combo. Stay hydrated, y'all. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. It's gonna go down to the equalize. SWD, I think, technically has better LED. People sleep on SWD, to be honest. I also, I think SWD was one of the first videos I made on, like, it wasn't Zero Use Sunday yet, but, let's see, the Equalize, can El Drago beat it in the LED department? TR145 has better LED? No, no it cannot. Alright, let's see if I can get a little bit more of, like, an aggressive hit on it, maybe? Um, maybe on CS we need to go the aggressive route, except this is one of my more passive CS's, but it's getting the barrage off, yeah, nah, it's gonna lose that stamina match again, yeah, I'm not gonna make y'all watch another stamina match, I'm gonna see if it can, yeah, no, okay, let's see if I get a little bit more... does not you know what you know what we're gonna try it on you know what we're gonna try it on we're gonna try this thing you know what I've tried it on attack earlier today and it did not work but you know what maybe we need to try it again you know what we're gonna try it on TR 145 to help it get a little bit more stamina I mean LAD we're gonna put LRF on it and see if that makes a difference um, 
see if that is better way to use this guy. That is underwhelming. A couple of solid hits and nothing. Okay. Maybe I gotta put this guy on a lower height so we can get that upper attack action. Yeah, those attacks. You know what? I got a pro strat, man. I got a pro strat. You know, I could put this on low height and make it another stereotypical low height attacker, but like, what if, what if the secret tech, the secret like zero use tech is to put it on another zero use part and zero use times zero use equals great. So what if we put this thing on final drive, bro? Like, I don't know what to expect, but like I'm thinking the rubber on final drive might add some good defense and then aggression maybe, I don't know. Let, let, let's try this out, come on. Oh, that was not good. That, that that was bad. It lost a lot of stamina right there. Let's go, El Drago. Final drive. Up oh, is getting it's getting it's getting wind up. Alright, final drive mode. El Drago. Dragon Emperor. Final drive. Bro, is this man just not gonna activate final drive? This is a Hasbro Final Drive, so like maybe that it's just like can't work because it's like Hasbro Final Drive. Let me see if I can get like a. All right, so here's the RF we can throw on there. Let me see if I can get us a, a small thing. Let's do LW105, bro. The Final Drive didn't even activate, bro. What is this? The equalize though. Equalize. Well, Dragon wins this. Nope, of course it didn't. All right, yep. Well, I just, I thought that maybe we could find the true potential. I'm just trying to like, I don't know why this thing is so underwhelming. Like, it's just not great. I mean, all right. So now I got it on low height RF. Which should make it like it has to be good or somewhat because it's like low height plus aggressive, so like it gotta be at least decent. This combo doesn't even have the best defense, so if El Drago can't even knock this out, if El Drago can't even knock this out, man, like that's gonna be, yeah, no. Oh, uh, wait, maybe, maybe get the scrape. This is like a low tier stamina combo anyway. Like the fact that El Drago is struggling is like, wait, is this, is this, is this the secret tech? Is El Drago about to outspin it? Hey, yo, what? El Drago just outspun it? Hey, yo, is this the secret tech? It could make RF a stamina tip, bro, hello? Hold up, I want to get a better like flower pattern launch and see. Dang, it doesn't want a flower pattern, bro. Hold up, I just want to try and get the flower pattern right, bro. Like, I'm just, I'm not satisfied till I get a good flower pattern. That was too hard of a lot. I know, Drago. Oh, oh, it came back. It came back. It literally just ran so far off screen and then just came back. Oh, damn. Okay, wait, hold on. Hand reveal. Oh, God. What do, you, what do I mean, hand reveal? Y'all have seen my hands in, like, all these videos. Um, okay, okay, okay. Let's try this again. Yeah, 
Nah, the attacks it delivers is so underwhelming. Like, it is just not... Like, the attacks it delivers are just not... Like, this combo doesn't have good defense. Like, but the fact that it struggles, but like... If it could do this little RF type spin steel thing again, like that, that might be like... This might be just the proof that it's better at stamina than attack. Yeah, no, that must have been like a one-time thing. But like, alright, what if instead of high stamina, we put it on low stamina? So I put this, what happens if I put this on WD? Now, this is going to be another stamina match. And I know I hate stamina, you hate stamina, but like... Let's see, this is for the name of science. I hate stamina on stamina battles, but this is for science. Oh, okay, I mean, it just got, okay, it got the knockout. All right, okay, okay. Um, let's try this against, I wanna do another low, low kind of like stamina combo. Um, what do I have a simple? You know what? Where'd I put my Leon? Okay, we'll try it against Leon, but like, let's try a defense type that sucks. We're gonna use this bad combo, Aries 145 WB. Aries hasn't been on the Zero Sunday in a minute, but uh, now it's back. Say, everybody say hello to Aries. Oh my god, the recoil. Oh my god. Hey, yo, this battle is wild. See, you don't get this intensity in actual Beyblade matches, bro. Zero U Sunday, bro, when you use parts nobody uses, that's where you get these interesting battles if Ares beats El Drago this that I'm not gonna I, I don't think I'm gonna know what to say after that come on El Drago Dragon Emperor soaring pre-hybrid bite strike yeah, El Drago. Okay, El Drago took that. I'm not surprised. All right. Now, I'm going to try it again. Let's do Leon um, D120 WD. Maybe El Drago can get under. But Bakush and Leon does have, like, a little lip underneath, which makes it hard to, like, get under. Especially on D120. I think D120 and Bakushin peers so well together. What time is it? I gotta pick up my mom in like 30 minutes. Anyway. Pick my mom up from work. You know, if you're good, if you're a good child, you pick your parents up from work. Right? I gotta go to work tomorrow though, but you know. Okay, can I, it's gonna come down to equalize. Can El Drago, like, get this equalized? Is this gonna be a second stamina El Drago? Oh, El Drago took that! Okay, so it could win the equalize. Okay, so maybe like I was saying earlier, stamina is gonna be where it's at. I'm gonna try to get another zero use combo. This combo is, like, aesthetically pleasing, though. You got... Like, Cetus and Inferno is aesthetically pleasing. ED145 WB. I just want to make an all-white combo. And, uh, I guess this is, like, ED145 potential redemption. Because it got a zero. Oh, my God. Yeah, no, never mind. I said this was ED145's redemption. Definitely not, uh, today. Because it just got absolutely massacred. So, uh, no, it is not. Uh, to answer the question, no, it is not ED145's, uh, redemption. Now let's try it against him. A really good attack combo. You know, um, Thief, y'all have recommended to just have it on Red Spring instead of Dark Knight. So, um, yeah. Oh, that, I did, I did not launch him, right? But like, hey. It's able to take it. Oh. I think El Drago's like slopey shape is like really good for stamina. And because of the low height, you can get some good LED with it. So maybe that's how you're going to use El Drago. And uh, yeah, let's try this again. Is 
that was not a good launch again. Hold up, hold up. That was not a good launch. That was not a good launch. Stitcher got a little stuck. I don't know what happened. Oh my god. I think the gears on this launcher might be a little messed up. Where's my other thing on Yeah, this string launcher is acting a little, little sus. I'm gonna try this again. Oh, there we go. Oh. It is able to shut this thing down. That's crazy. Where did I put my launcher grip though? Uh, I want to try one better, bigger launch on this type joint. I might have to get my other launcher. Oh, yep. Oh, ow, ow. Yep, nope. Him's back. Alright. Oh, uh, yeah. Solid little attack. Okay, let me come this way. Oh, Dragon got knocked all the way over here. Did I have my launcher over here? Uh, oh, oh, yep, here it is. Here's my main launcher. Alright. I'm back. I'm back. Okay, yeah, this should make a difference. This is a brand new TT launcher. So, maybe this this one. Alright. Now, okay, okay, this is going to be the last time I do this back. Because this should be. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna get back up and go get him. Him can stay over there, okay? He, 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 he doesn't deserve another chance, all right? Um, you know what? Now what we gotta do is we gotta do, see the Stamina Eldrago versus Stamina Eldrago. We got LW, uh, or I think this is 100 EWD on Meteor Eldrago. We gotta see. Oh my god, what is with my launch in there? All right, there we go. Can it beat Meteor Old Drago in a contest of stamina? I don't know if the rubber same spin is as good. But EWD is like a lot better. Oh my god. Is the rubber just depleting the stamina? Oh, it's depleting the stamina on both of them. Meteor Old Drago is struggling. Hey, yo, that's wild. It beat Meteor Old Dragon. All right, so for like the last test we got to do here, just to see if this is really how to use Pre-Hybrid Old Dragon, is we're going to throw it up against this, 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 this horrendous monster thing. Flame 230, ah, Flame 230, ah, you're so cool. No, I hate Flame 230. All right. Up, oh, that was too long. I'm going to relaunch this. Oh God, Flame 230 is angry, he's angry. <laughs> it's like the, uh, like Crocodile Hunter. Oh Lord, he's angry. If this thing beats Flame 230, like, this is gonna be like, wild. Like, this is gonna be the, the best Zero U Sunday. If, if, if pre-hybrid El Drago has just been the Flame 230 counter we, we just never knew about, like, that would be wild. Yeah, attack the performance tip. Ah, uh, yeah, no. no. Of course, Flame 230 just has to be, you know, annoying. Let's get... Let's try one more time. Come on, El Drago. I believe in you. Beat Flame 230 using your power of somethingness. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, this is not looking good. I'm not gonna make y'all, you know what? Hold up. If El Drago starts losing spin, then maybe I'll stop it because I don't wanna make y'all have to go through a whole nother stamina match. What I put my El Drago? Oh, here it is. 
I was gonna say where I put my Elder Eagle Guardian combo. Yeah, nope, 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 yeah, Elder Eagle's about a yeah, no. Yeah, no. Ugh. You know what? I don't wanna just end this video with Flame 230 ending like like just I have to beat Flame 230. I just wanted to Flame 230, really? I was getting ready to just launch El Drago to beat it, but like, it was like, no, so it just had to mess up my camera setup. You think you're cool, bro? Go, El Drago, body it. Okay, there we go. That, I feel better now. I extracted my revenge. Okay, so, overall, what did we learn today? Pre-hybrid El Drago is, is okay, it's stamina. I think... It can outspin Meteor El Drago for what it's worth. It can outspin uh, Baku Shin Leon. But, like, I try to be optimistic, but, like, I just really can't see a reason to use this guy. I mean, literally, because, like, Lightning El Drago is right there. Like, like I mean, if you want two left spins, I guess that's cool. But, like, if you really wanted, like, two left spins, do something like this. If you wanted three left spins, do something like this. Or if you wanted to do an all El Drago lineup, do, do, do something like this. I guess pre-hybrid El Drago is probably, next to Lightning El Drago, the most accessible one. Like, a guard, El Drago Guardian is like very rare and expensive. But there's just other combos I really would recommend before you use this guy. I'd say this guy is probably good for like collection purposes, but other than that, like, I don't know. I mean, it looks cool. The design is heat. Like, this is a prototype El Drago. Like, it looks heat. I mean, all El Dragos look heat. And this this, this this looks heat as well. Like, the dragon design in the pre-hybrid system look, looks heat. Don't get me wrong. It's just... Yeah. Yeah, no. But anyway, thank y'all so much for checking out today's video. Make sure to like and comment down below. Uh, suggestions for another Zero You Sunday. We are almost to 950 subs and we are getting closer and closer to 1,000 subs. Got a lot of stuff planned for 1,000 subs, but we got to get there. You know, uh, when we hit 950 subs, it's going to be a montage of me trying to beat your combo. So subscribe and remember, uh, go follow me on Insta, Twitter, join the Discord, and let's chat it up, my guys. I will see you on the next video. Peace.